y el sol, del mar y el sol, del mar y el sol. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. From Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, high intensity drug trafficking area, Director Samuel Santana. And from the Puerto Rico Ports Authority, Aguadilla Airport Manager Edgar Sierra. <laughs> Randolph D. Ellis was appointed the Executive Assistant Commissioner for U.S. Customs and Border Protection, Office of Air Marine Operations, in January 2013. Before joining AMO, Mr. Ellis served in the U.S. Marine Corps for 35 years, retiring in 2011 as a major general. And it's a real tribute to Customs and Border Protection uh, that we use uh, so much technology to help support our personnel who have the expertise not only to use it, but then they have the knowledge of the local area. UH-60 helicopters and interceptors are used in what air and marine personnel refer to as the end game or the actual interception, seizure, and apprehension of suspects. And air crews operate A-star helicopters in aerial patrol and surveillance missions. They often do this in conjunction with all of their federal partners, Border Patrol, FBI, DEA, Coast Guard, ICE, HSI, and federal, state, and local entities. And they perform critical intelligence activities, gathering that information that can lead to even better targeting. The organizations have to work closely together, and they share the goal of securing the borders and the safety of the people of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands against illegal migration and drug smuggling and other crimes. And CBP is very proud to be a part of this in countless ways to contribute to the safety of the entire Caribbean region. There are two components, by the way, in the tour that you're going to see. The 20,000-foot aircraft storage hangar. It can accommodate seven fully fueled and ready to deploy aircraft. It has an overhead crane, a high expansion foam suppression fire system, mechanical and electrical equipment to support aviation ground equipment for the rapid deployment, and it's eco-friendly. It is a LEED Silver certified building. The second is the 10,000 square foot administrative support facility. It accommodates 106 employees, storage space for ammunition, equipment, and weapons, communications, training, conference rooms, muster rooms, a fully equipped health and wellness center, and a flight planning room. These two new facilities will increase the effectiveness and enhance our ability to carry out our important mission. this branch, the Caribbean Air Marine Branch. It's really a milestone in uh, dedicating this new flight hangar and also administrative facility, uh, you know, as opposed to the facilities you all have been operating in over a number of years. Uh, this is uh, just a great facility overall for us. I would just emphasize to us this is an important mission area for us. Uh, down here in Puerto Rico, extending down to the Virgin Islands. It's very critical for us in terms of national security, law enforcement, and protecting the United States, uh, the continental United States, and also for the people of Puerto Rico. What this branch brings to the uh, local area is critical. It has capabilities that are not available anywhere else in this part of the world, so uh, it's very important to our operations, both in Air and Marine and also inside CBP. So I think it will streamline our operations. Uh, I think it will modernize our working environment. I think it will be a great addition to uh, the branch and also to Air and Marine overall.
I remember about 20 years ago, I was in a meeting in Denver, Colorado, and it was a conference of mayors. And I remember my concern about the Caribbean, about Puerto Rico, and I did express at that moment that the border in Puerto Rico was wide open. Well, not anymore. Now we go after them. Now we are secure, our borders. I feel very, very proud of what you people are doing. This is not 20 years ago. This is 20 years later. And they better be careful. Now they're scared of us. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you.